Yet another typhoon is on its way to South Korea, likely to hit the southern coast by Thursday. It'll bring heavy, da heavy downpours and strong winds. The capital Seoul, however, seems to be out of harm's way. Our Om ji has the latest. The 18th typhoon of the season, Mitag, is expected to reach Korea's southern coast around Thursday. If it stays on its projected path, it'll bring heavy rainfall to most of the country. According to the Korea Meteorological Administration, as of 3 p.m. today, the storm was about 320 kilometers southeast of Shanghai, China, and is moving north towards Jeju Island. By 3 p.m. on Wednesday, Mitag is forecast to be roughly 180 kilometers off Korea's southernmost island of Jeju. It's then expected to pass by the southern port of Mokpo on Thursday morning and on towards South Korea's easternmost island of Tokdo. By the time the typhoon reaches Korea, it is forecast to have a maximum wind speed of 100 kilometers an hour. Heavy downpours and strong gusts are likely to lash Jeju Island and southern parts of the country today as the typhoon approaches. The National Weather Agency has issued heavy rain warnings as of 4 p.m. on Tuesday for Jeju Island and the Jeollado provinces, and parts of these regions are currently getting up to 30 millimeters of rain per hour, accompanied by thunder and lightning. An expert at the National Weather Agency said that Typhoon Mitag is expected to be as strong as the recent Typhoon Tafa, which resulted in multiple deaths, flooded homes and car accidents. Typhoon Mitag is projected to have a stronger influence on the Korean Peninsula than the last Typhoon Tafa because it'll come directly over us. Serious damage is expected, so the expert advised people to take precautions. The typhoon will pack strong winds at an average of 17 meters a second as it passes through the Korean peninsula. This is strong enough to damage things like street lights. The typhoon will also bring torrential rain to Jeju and the southern coast of Korea. So residents in these areas are advised to take extra precautions against landslides and flooding. The expert added it's very unlikely the typhoon will make a major change of course. Om Ji-young, Arirang News.